Hey, welcome to Planet Hex, I'm Andrew Horn. It's tape time again, it's time to go on an old fashioned VHS horror hunt. I'm gonna look on Facebook Marketplace, I'm gonna have a quick look on Amazon, who knows what turns up there, and I'm gonna look on eBay, of course. In a few days, I am gonna go and visit the 80s video shop attraction in Alfreton, which my buddy Rob Lane from the Straits Video Podcast has opened with his buddy Chris, and I'm so looking forward to that. I saw it um, reviewed on the Gebs24 channel, and it just looks like an absolute dream come true, a, a recreation, a full recreation of a proper video store. And I'm so there for that. I'm really looking forward to checking that out. So it's been a few weeks since I've done some proper VHS hunting on, on here. So I thought I'd just have a bit of a hangout with you guys. If you're not familiar with me, I wrote a book called VHS 8 My Brain, of which there is a revised edition coming out very soon. I play guitar, I write comic books and movies and stuff like that. But mainly what, I, what I'm known for is these things VHS tapes. I say these things, that's all DVDs, Andy. Anyway, I'm starting on Facebook Marketplace today because last time I went on Facebook Marketplace, I didn't really find a great deal. And um, it was a bit of a damp squib, so I thought I'd start with that this time rather than leaving that to the end of the video. So let's see what we've got here on uh, Facebook Marketplace, if anything, at the moment. So I see job lot of 385 DVDs. Um, good if you want to, if you want to, uh, make some money at car boot sale that's pretty good actually we've got um copies of horror hound magazine from the u.s not vhs though lots of dvds another horror hound there with robert zombie on the front more dvds you see i've done a search on vhs horror and what's come up is dvds video games a doctor who regeneration box set um, disney videos i think i was probably right starting off with this one here Okay, results from outside your search. 123 pounds for VHS tapes horror. Here's some horror ones too. 1980s horror big box bundle. That looks interesting. On the thumbnail there, I see a Vestron. And um, three times horror movies, including Zombie Fleshy. Let's see what else they've got there for a batch of uh, for 25 quid. Got £35 for the Vipco edition of the Beyond there. Just, no, just get the Arrow. Get the Arrow DVD of the Beyond. It ruled. Hmm, okay, we've got Hammer. Not really that much of a fan of Hammer, to be honest. I like it, but it's not really a major thing for me. I think that's all we've got for a load of VHS tapes, a load of VHS Horace. Let's see what we've got open there. So the first one I've got open is this one, VHS Tapes Horror, read description, £123, listed 14 weeks ago. So I can see we've got um, X Rental of Betrayed and The Hand there, and uh, we've got some more mass market tapes, or small clamshell tapes of Dracula, Lost Boys, Freddy's Nightmares 2, which I've talked about previously on this channel, and the Cinema Club edition, so the budget edition of the first Fright Night movie. Um, I do like the Freddy's Nightmare series. I know it wasn't very good, but I do like it. So read description. Let's have a look at the description. Where is the description? Oh, so wanted horror VHS tapes. Artillery area in Wales. Hmm, let's see what else we've got here listed anyway. So are they selling these or are they looking for more? Papillon, First Blood, that's it. Okay, now, <laughs> worth a look. So we've got VHS Horror, two pounds each. That's not bad. They'll, I'm sure they'll charge like, you know, four quid for postage or whatever, but that's not bad if there's something here that you want. Uh, I see the um, uh, the One Trap Entertainment Edition of Firestarter with Drew Barrymore in it. And it's a Drew McIntyre there. You can tell, tell I've been watching a lot of wrestling. Aside from the Shotzi Blackheart t-shirt I've been, I'm wearing. Uh, Stephen King Sleepwalkers. Could be worse. The stand, both parts of the TV show, the TV version of the stand. We've got the director's cut of Spawn. I like that movie. It's good. Um, not perfect, but it's all right. We've got Westworld, and we've got the making of Michael Jackson's Thriller. We've got The Shining, um, Flesh and Blood. Ah, oh, Flesh and Blood's a fun one. That's worth two quid. I think that's largely it. You see, that's not bad. That's not bad. Flesh and Blood is a good movie. Not a horror movie, but, but you know. Okay, this one looks interesting. 
1980s horror film VHS big box bundle. Now there, I can see already there are some interesting tapes here that I would be very interested in if I had 50 quid spare, which I don't at present because of children's birthdays and my birthday coming up as well. So, but let's see what we've got here. I see. It was pretty much the last of 1980s VHS horror collection there for sale as a bundle, all in big box X rental cases. So we've got, oh, that's beautiful. That's the thing of beauty. So we've got X rental brain damage, Frank Hine and Lotta's brain damage. I love that movie. Um, Creep show in a small clamshell. Never mind that. I'd rather have a larger one. Um, we've got scanners, body snatch, uh, body snatchers, Ghoulies two. Return the Living Dead on Vestron, lovely edition. I miss my edition that I really regret selling that. Street Trash, <sighs> I love Street Trash. If I've never told the story before, that is one half of a double bill I screened in a cinema room I hired on my stag do. The Street Trash in Class of Newcomb High, Mwah, perfect afternoon. And Prince of Darkness, those aren't bad. For 50 pounds, That's I would say that's all right. Because you've got Return to Living Dead, Street Trash, and Ghoulies 2, which would raise that price up a fair bit there. Brain Damage a little bit less so, because I see that has some damage on the cover. But those are cool. I'm pleased with those. That's uh, that's validated me coming to eBay, to Facebook Marketplace first in this video. So, three times VHS horror movies, including Zombie Flesh Eaters. Now, that's more gore than I loaded before. That's not uncut. That is the strong version um, from Vipco but that's not uncut. So let's see if the other two tapes would warrant this being 25 pounds. So the burning and touching the void. Touching the void, really? Not a horror movie. Zombie Flesh Eaters, I would say that's worth about a fiver. And the Vipco Cult Frighteners Edition, Cult Classics Frighteners Edition of the burning. Again, not uncut, it is trimmed quite a bit, but um, from what I remember anyway, but those are fun, fun videos. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay 25. I would probably pay 15 plus postage for those. Um, but that's about as far as I would go with those. Okay, so we found some decent stuff on on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I'm really surprised. So let's go and have a look on Amazon. Now I'm aware you can get VHS tapes on Amazon, but it's not somewhere I've really ever looked. I know a lot of resellers will be putting them up there, but I've, from what I've heard, the prices have been all over the place, and uh, the quality of them when they have arrived have left something to be desired as well. So let's see what we've got. I'm just going to do like let's do four pages and see what comes up. So the first one is a, a pop socket for a phone. It's a grip for a phone. It just says horror, like in an old rental store. Fair enough. Got horror hotel on VHS, currently unavailable. You can get it on Blu-ray for 20 quid. VHS 94. Notebook themed around Halloween. Babysitter Bloodbath. VHS Terrors. That's like VHS themed. Horror stories. We've got a VHS tape of The Creature Walks Among Us. DVDs. Hammer Horror. The Exorcist widescreen edition on VHS. I had that in the in the big like digipack style tape. Cry for help. Wishcraft. Slasher. I think I've ever actually seen that one. I have to look that one up. Let's kill a tongue. That was entertaining. <laughs> so, the voluptuous horror of Karen Black. Tether Penumbra. Fair enough. Not something I'm familiar with. Scream Great. That looks fun. That looks fun. A tape about Tom Savini. Currently unavailable. I guess, with, as with everything, you, you just do have to have a look through and see what comes up. The Secret Craft. wonder what they're trying to look like with that. I wonder. Yeah, I, I do think you're going to have to look for specific things. If there's a specific title you want to find on VHS, rather than just putting like VHS Horror or, be, or doing like a general search, because that'll just bring up thousands of things. And this is bringing up quite a mixture. Um... Switch it to VHS tapes. Is there an option for that? Ah, VHS. There is an option for that. So, Tower of Evil. That's getting about it's more like it. Robert Asquith. Horror Hotel. Friday the 13th. Warner. VHS video. Original rental. Preset 80s horror movie. Oh, it's a Blu ray that's $5.99. That's currently avail unavailable. So, I do think it is a case of. 
being careful with what you look for. If you look for something specific, you've probably got a lot more chance of it coming up than um, if you don't. That made sense in my head. Metal of the Cannibal God, the Vitco version. I had that. That was a fun tape. Currently unavailable on VHS, but the Blu-ray is $13.99. I'm seeing a theme here. Things are generally unavailable. Yeah, oh. <laughs> See, there's no price on things. Oh, they say currently unavailable. Alien Intruder. Nice sci-fi B-movie. Currently unavailable. DVD, $4.89. Or a quid if you get a Poundland. Grim Weekend. That looks high budget. Frighteners. All currently unavailable. Grim, currently unavailable. See, there's stuff advertised, but not there. Not there. That's a shame. Okay, in that case, never mind a fourth page. Let's head over to eBay, where we know we'll find some good stuff. Right, here we go. We're on the place I know we'll, uh, we will have some tapes. You see, I'd really, I would really like to show you around like Facebook groups um, because they are an ideal place to go and find VHS horror movies. There's a lot of really good trading groups there. Um, but I don't want to show everyone's names off because people might not be into having their names on the channel or indeed a video or anything like that. And a lot of those groups are members only, so I can't really do that. So I am sorry about that. They are, they are a great a, a deal of fun and hugely helpful for building your collection. But let's see what we've got over on eBay today. So we've got Lost Boys. That's a good start. Sleepless. Um, oh, yes, the Argento movie. I've forgotten about that. We've got the edition of Suspiria that I've got on tape for 99p. That is a good one, because any edition of Suspiria is fun in my eyes. We've got the X-Files Series 1 Complete Limited Edition. You know, not complaining. I was a big X-Files fan at the time. You know, Steel Claw. That is a rare one. Let's get that open have a look around the cover of that. Little Shop of Horrors. Hammer. Halloween, that looks like an interesting one. No, it doesn't. Dark August, Japanese one. Let's have a look at that. Ghoulies 4, big box, £30. We've got Extro. What a misleading cover on Extro. Uh, this is one I've seen um, on screen in the video about the aforementioned 80s video shop, Monster High. Uh, and my son, my youngest son, is a big fan of the other Monster High, the more recent one with the, all the ghouls and goblins and monsters and vampires and heels, lots of heels. Um, we've got the gate, that is a classic. I love the gate, let's open that up as well. We've got From Beyond for a fiver, no complaints there. We've got Vengeance the Demon, X rental here. This is this is a good lot here, got Beast Within. I'm doing well today on eBay, dudes. 99p for, v for Beetlejuice, 96? I thought it was a lot earlier than that for the, for the VHS of that. Here we've got ten pounds for the original Ghoulies. That's on Entertainment in Video. That is a small, a small box edition. But I'm going to have a look at that. Uh, Razorback, Deadly Spawn. Yes. <sighs> what a joy, the Deadly Spawn. And we've got Monster in the Closet. There are some great tapes on here tonight. House Four, not the best film, but good fun. Revenge of Pumpkinhead, Bloodwings, and that. Oh, I love that. That is one of my favourite sequels. Let's find another one to open up on here. What else can we find? Come on. We've already covered Demons 3, the Ogre on here. Uh, Beyond Darkness, Psychomania. There's some decent tapes on here tonight. Um, I'd be impressed if, if a lot of them are getting the, the prices they're asking for here. Dollman, <laughs> The Visitor. Come on, we've got one. Need one more surprising one. Possession, one of the nasties. Um, Curtains, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2 on Forefront. Forefront was a good label. It meant we got people that didn't have a load of money meant to, get, meant to see, uh, got to see a load of films they would otherwise have missed. Uh, Shock Treatment, the sequel to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Friday the 13th, Part 5, Big Box. Hmm. Horror VHS bundle with uh, Maniac Cop in there, City of the Living Dead. Boxers, we've got Freddy's Nightmares. Um, okay, let's end at the uh, looking through these as Friday the 13th, maybe. Um, dodgy copy of Cannibal Holocaust there. Death Race 2000. See, before I did this video, uh, last night I did a video all about cannibal movies. Now, what it would be, uh, what it would cost to get 10. 
um, of the most notorious cannibal movies into your collection. And what happened with that is I shot a really good video, which I was really pleased with. And then I realized as I was uh, going to start trimming it, that it was absolutely full of wow. Full of wow. There we go. That's the one we'll end on at the end of the episode. Cannibal Holocaust for three grand. Um, but yeah, I'd done a video all about cannibal movies and uh, forgot that a certain scene from Cannibal Holocaust was used as the cover. So the scene on the beach with the impalement. And um, it showed up about 20 times in the video. I was like, I can't cut all these out, otherwise there's no video left. Um, and no one would see what I was looking at. And it was just... I had to ditch it, that one. But that's a shame. But uh, yeah, Cannibal Holocaust is one that you'll definitely see around. So let's have a look at what I've got open on these tabs tonight. There's quite a good batch tonight. Steel Claw, he's back with some nudity on it. That's a good start, Andrew. Twenty nine ninety nine. to be honest, that's not bad. I've not seen that one around. It looks like a good addition. I've not heard of this movie, Dark August, so I do apologize if this is one you're familiar with, but that is a nice looking tape. Let's have a look at the cover. So it's got Japanese text on it. Tape seems to be in good condition. Let's have a look. Is there a closer shot of the tape? Don't see any mold. That's a reflection on it. Some sticker wear. But $3.99, if you're into your Japanese horror, that looks like a steal to me. So we've got a classic here, Ghoulies 4. Well, I mean, a classic franchise. Ghoulies 4 is like the le the lesser of, of the series. But that is a good-looking tape there. So we've got a nice big box with a, a two-pound rental sticker on it there. Looks good, that would look good on a shelf. Tape's in good condition, and it's still got the video store sticker on it there. Please rewind the tape. Look, you may mock, but that was important back in the day, because it was really disappointing if you got a video, and it was not rewound. You open it up, and it wasn't rewound. It was like the equivalent of going into a cafe and being given a plate that still had food on it, like leftover stuff with your things on top. That's what it felt like, it did to me anyway. But that's... You know, that's weirdos like me end up doing video <laughs> videos on YouTube about tapes. One side, Cosmic Campus Comedy. Let's have a look at that. So I don't, I've never seen this. Let's have a look. Every school has its share of space cadets, but this term, Montgomery Sterling High. Oh, monster High. I see what they did there. It's about to get there. It's coming with real life ray guns and it's spaced out sci-fi comedy. I think I would rather take off my elbows and remove my eyes and pop my elbow sockets into my eye sockets and my eyes here so that I would have to walk around like some Guillermo del Toro horror. That got weird, Andrew. That got weird. Okay, so we've got the gate here for 11.50. That has a bit of wear to it. Uh, that's, an, that's an old blockbuster tape. So that has definitely seen some use. There's some wear to it, but, you know, it's 11.50 and it's the gate so to be honest buy it because it's got it's still got a rental sticker on it and and it's the gate and the gate the gate rules the gate is a great movie let's have oh jesus oh no that's not mold let's have a look okay so there's tape sticker residue there's sticker residue there stickers have been torn off there the tape label looks all right nice producer home video tape sticker there I don't believe that's mould. Let's have a look. I don't think that's mould on uh, on inside the case. I think that's just dust. But yeah, that's the gate. Buy it. It's perfect. From Beyond. Lovely, lovely movie by uh, Empire Pictures related to Charles Band, of course. Is Stuart Gordon? It was Stuart Gordon. Yes, of course it was, Andrew. What are you talking about? Humans are such easy prey. One of the greatest HP Lovecraft adaptations ever. That movie is deranged. There are some glorious and gorious. You see what I did there? Special effects in that movie, and I hugely recommend it. Now, this surprised me. This is uh, Vengeance of the Demon. Oh, so this isn't the one that surprised me. It's a sequel that really surprised me. This, this is the original UK edition of Pumpkinhead, which was came out here as Vengeance of the Demon. Um, don't know why they changed the title, because it's quite obvious that Pumpkinhead does have... A pumpkin head, you know? So bad about that. But that is a great cover. I remember seeing this on the on the video store walls, and that's just lovely. 
tapes in very good condition yeah liking that one what was the price they got on that I've forgotten 20 pounds that's not bad at all because that is extra or big box it's a decent movie and it's not one you see around a great deal with these with these auctions so yeah then go for it though that one what next we've got the beast within not the best film not the best movie at all but it's got a decent cast including ronnie cox bb besh michael mcclary and judge Cohen. um it's entertaining but the main thing here with this is the cover art the cover art is just fabulous it's a really cool cover and it's warner home video as well tape has not been rewound rewind your bloody tapes but that's that's a nice one to add to the collection eight pounds is about right don't see any issue with that see this one is 10 pounds and I'm loath to spend ten pounds on on a small clamshell tape because I do just prefer X rentals. I mean, I will buy um, small ones, the smaller clamshell tapes, but I just prefer X rentals. And for some reason, when Entertainment Video started doing the stripe along the top and the bottom of the packaging, it just wound me up. I wish they just stuck to the original um, Entertainment Video logo, the big EV. Let's have a look at the back. Oh, that's a lovely back image, though. That's a cool back image. Lots of the ghoulies, lots of the nice effect shots. Does what it needs to. It was only 77 minutes long. I do prefer movies that don't hang around, honestly. Let's have a look at the tape. Are you in a good condition, my dear? No, you're not. There is mold there. So no, I would not buy that for £10. I would buy that for maybe 3 it just to have but i wouldn't use it it's a shame because it's a great tape now this is the real thing yes yes indeed the deadly spawn one of the most fun independent horror movies i've ever seen and i i'd never heard of it until i got heavily into vhs collecting and it's so fun it's so bloody it's over the top it's absolutely ludicrous and how could you not love that cover Honestly, that cover rules. Let's have a look at the tape. What's the tape like? No mold. It's been rewound. Original Vipco sticker. I can't complain about that at all. Wow, that cover's in very good condition. It almost, it, it looks so good, it could almost be a rep reproduction, but I do see some wear down at the bottom. Let's have a look. They've even tested it, so it's show it plays. That's cool. And they show the tape in the top. So they press the button at the side and show the tape at the top. It's looking good. That is a good lot. That is clearly being sold by someone that knows what they're doing there. Uh, it's been sold by someone called Sir Kane. So yeah, they know what they're doing. Let's have a look at their other auctions just in case. So Friday the 13th. I think that's the one we've got over here. Yeah, let's get that one closed because we're looking at it now. So Friday the 13th, 50 quid. There's no bids on it, but it's uh, it's a it's a desirable tape that I wouldn't pay 50 pounds for it. That I would, however, pay 50 for that Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Toolbox Murders. That's an interesting one. That is an interesting one. See, I can't complain at 80 pounds for Toolbox Murders because that is not one you see around a lot. Justine 750, 103 video discs. Collection only, yeah, you're not kidding, collection only. 103 discs of variety of titles. You name the category it's here, we'll take £100 for the lot. That's an interesting lot for people, that. If you're, if you're into your CED video discs, go for your life, mate. So we got Monster in the Closet. One of those movies that I just loved the cover of. I mean, you've got the big monster claw, you've got the closet, you've got a painted bra that's had a lot of attention made, <laughs> put into uh, painting that. And um, that's just one of those golden ones that was not a great movie. However, it was a lot of fun to see on the video shelves. It was the one I never got around to renting. I don't think I've seen it in full. This is the one that surprised me when I saw it. This was The Revenge of Pumpkinhead. The demon has risen again. Look how awesome Pumpkinhead looks there. So this is the Revenge of Pumpkinhead over here. It was called Bloodwings Pumpkinhead 2 in the States. And uh, it's one of the most solid straight-to-video sequels I've ever seen. The effects look great. 
it's tense, it has a decent script, the cast and the cast are pretty good in it, and it's it holds together really well. Let's have a look at the back. There's pumpkin on the back as well. It's a really fun one. And uh, yeah, it's got Andrew Robinson in it, Amy Dolenz, uh, Steve Canali, and Linnea Quigley. I'm going to love Linnea Quigley. Uh, so yeah, that, I'm, I'm sold on that. £12 for that is really good. That is a good price for that. So what have we got out here? We've got, to end this little look around eBay and Amazon and Facebook Marketplace for VHS Horror, we're ending on one of the big boys. This is Cannibal Holocaust. Now this has not been listed as Cannibal Holocaust, this has been listed as preset VHS horror tape, signed and sealed. So let's have a look at this, let's see if this, I'm not sure if this is the original one or not. Looks like it, actually it's on Go Video, so it could well be, that could well be the real thing. It is signed as well, we shall see who it's signed by before I look through all the photos of that. Um, doesn't say who it's signed by. Well, it's not Rigero Diodato. But let's, anyway, let's have a look at the table. So this is what they're asking for, for £3,000, £3, not £3, or £5,000 a bite now. It's Go Video, Cannibal Holocaust. The tape, the tape sealed? The tape is sealed. Do not remove security seal warranty invalid if tape is tampered. That looks a lot, that looks much too modern to be the original Go Video one. I think that is a repro. Personally, I think that is a, a reproduction rather than the real thing, which is a shame. It's just, it's the shrink wrap. The shrink wrap there, the barcode on the side, that doesn't seem to be the real thing to me, which is a shame. It is a good movie, but not one I want to really pay £3,000 for if um, they haven't said who signed it. They haven't even put the right title on there, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. That's a shame, but it's nice to see that there are some decent tapes around on eBay at the moment. It's a bit weird on Amazon because you really have to kind of sift through everything. And Facebook Marketplace even brought some stuff up tonight, so I'm really impressed with that. So good luck with your VHS hunting. I'll see you uh, next time we go hunting for tapes. Actually, I'm going to go to, as I say at the start of the episode, I'm going to the 80s video shop in a few days. So look out for a video all about me checking out that glorious new place as well. So I'm Andrew Horn. Thank you very much for whopping, watching. Whopper. Oh, I thought I'd get to the end without messing up. Evidently not. I'm Andrew Horn. Thanks for watching this episode of Planet Hex. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and validate my existence.